Hi guys, this is Cedric, and I have a really interesting video for all you iPhone users today. I'm going to be showing you some neat features that are super simple to use that you may not have seen on your phone's keyboard, and I'm sure they could help you speed up your daily tasks. Starting off with a super simple feature, holding on to the space bar until it turns into a trackpad. This feature is really important and really useful, especially when you make uh, mistakes. All you have to do is just go in, correct the word, rather than click on the word and try to figure it out this way. It's so much easier to just use the spacebar and drag the cursor around. Next is a feature called Quick Path. In other words, swipe to type. All you have to do for this one is just place your finger on the keyboard on a letter and just swipe to the next subsequent letter. to complete your sentence. So next up is undoing what I just typed in. Let's say I, I want to get rid of this sentence. All I have to do is just shake my phone. It's going to say undo. What I have to do is just click undo. And the sentence is gone. Moving on, this feature is probably the one that I assume some people will not have heard of. And that is to double tap the space bar to insert a period along with the space to continue on to your next sentence. So I could say not too bad, double tap spacebar, inserts a period along with the space for me for my next sentence. I can say thanks. So for this next feature, you actually have to go into the settings, go into general, and then keyboard, and then text replacement. And basically this feature allows you to have symbols, um, words, letters, anything to have uh, as a shortcut for other phrases and sentences and all you have to do is go into plus and then type in the phrase that you want so I'll say go away and the shortcut for that will be three hashtags so I save that so as you can see I have it down here three hashtags will go away and then I have a bunch of other shortcuts and OMW, you'll probably see that on your phone, and that is just the default default um, phrase for on my way that iPhone gives you. And all you have to do to test this, I guess, is just go into Safari, for example, and then just type in OMW, and it's gonna, once you press space, it's just gonna finish the sentence for you. And I had um, three hashtags, so that's gonna give me go away. Moving on is a feature that I personally never use, but I feel some of you might enjoy trying this out. That is the one-handed keyboard. And all you have to do to activate this one is just go into the globe that you see at the bottom left, click it and hold it. And then you'll, you'll have options between the left-hand side keyboard and the right-hand side keyboard. I'll go to the right for now. And as you can see, this is meant to type with your right hand. And then I'll just say thanks again with only my right hand. And then you can say, go into the left one, say hi. And also, if you want to go back, you don't have to necessarily go into the globe setting again. All you have to do is just go in here and press the arrow that's on the side. And it'll give you the two-handed keyboard again. Switching to the one-handed keyboard could especially be useful if one of your hands are busy and you need to send a text. So the next one, the final one, I'll give you a bonus. This feature is not really on the keyboard, but rather on the calculator app. And I'm sure many people have this problem, and that is, especially when you're typing super long equations, for example, let's just say 24 times 8 times 9 times 7 minus 1, 2, six nine seven and you want to uh, backspace but you see that there's no real button even if you go on the landscape view um, you don't see any backspace button so many people get really angry at this but it's actually super simple all you have to do is just swipe on the number when it backspaces right or left anyway so that's it for today. Definitely comment down below if you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.